Interest rates are rising like crazy. We all knew it was coming, but what does it mean for the real estate market and your ability to buy and sell a home now? We're turning to the experts to find out what we may be seeing in the market future. Hi, my name is Robert Barton with Keller Williams Realty, and I've sold homes in all kinds of markets over the years and I can help you navigate this one as well. We'll help by sorting through all the uncertainties in the market and give you facts so that you can make an informed decision about your own home. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and ask some questions. Okay, we started 2022 with mortgage rates at about 3.11% for a 30 year fixed, according to Freddie Mac. As the year has gone on, the most recent data from Freddie Mac shows that rates have risen to 5.7% as of today, 28 May. Freddie Mac actually addresses the rise in rates by stating, mortgage rates are likely to continue to move higher throughout the balance of 2022. Although the pace of rate increases is likely to moderate, much of the increase in rates in early 2022 is in anticipation of what will happen after this year, especially with the Federal Reserve interest rate policy. All the experts have been projecting this. We knew it was coming, but we are hopeful that the upward climb of interest rates will be slowing down as the year goes on. So let's take a look at the past so we can have a better idea of what our future will look like. If we look back at data from October of 93, provided by Freddie Mac, we see that there was a comparable spike in mortgage rates. Now, at the time, we saw no negative impacts on home prices and they still appreciated by 8%, but there was a decrease of 11% in actual home sales that same year. So many people were likely priced out of buying a home due to market condition. Now, we are looking at a very different environment though, because we are not expected to see the rate increase that we saw from October 93 to December 94, where it went from 2.38 to 9.2%. Overall, we see about a 2% impact on home sales, whether positive or negative. If we take out the outliers of 05 and 06, which led up to the housing crisis, we see that their overall rising rates don't have a large impact on home sales. Hey, that's what the experts are seeing. If you have any questions concerning buying or selling a home here in Fort Worth, Texas area, you can always reach out to me and we can see if now is the best time for you to make a real estate move in North Texas. Lastly, as always, our promise to you, no BS ever, bad service. Thanks for visiting our YouTube channel, Living in Fort Worth, Texas, and for more tips about buying and selling, please subscribe. See you soon.